somebody talks about good health and you're stirred, says, right, you need to get a book on nutrition. Get the book before the idea passes and before the emotion gets cold. Go for the book, start the library, start the process, fall on the floor, do some push-ups. Action, got to take action. Otherwise, the wisdom is wasted. Otherwise, the emotion soon passes. Unless you put it into a disciplined activity, capture it. Disciplines is called how to capture the emotion and how to capture the wisdom and translate it into equity. Disciplines. Now, here's what's important about disciplines. All disciplines affect each other. In fact, here's a good philosophical phrase. Everything affects everything else. Nothing stands alone. Don't be naive in saying, well, this doesn't matter. I'm telling you, everything matters. There are some things that matter more than others, but there isn't anything that doesn't matter. We all pity the man who says, well, this is the only place I let down. Not true. Key to take home. Every letdown affects the rest of your performance. Every letdown affects the rest. This is part of the educational process on personal development. If you don't take the walk around the block, you probably won't do the apple a day. If you don't do the apple a day, you probably won't consist, you know, start building your library. If you don't build your library, you probably won't keep a journal and you won't take pictures and then you won't do this, you won't do wise things with your money, won't do wise things with your time, won't do wise things with your possibilities and relationships. And the first thing you know, six years of that accumulated and we say you have messed up. So the whole key to reversing that process now is to start picking up these disciplines. Now here's the positive side. Every new discipline affects the rest of your disciplines. Every new one affects the rest. That's why action is so important. The least action, the smallest action. Take it. Because when you start accomplishing and the value starts to return from that one action, it'll inspire you to do the next one and the next one and the next one. You start walking around the block, it'll inspire you to get an apple. You get an apple, it'll inspire you to get a book. You get a book, it'll inspire you to get a journal. You get a journal, it'll inspire you to grow, develop some skills. All disciplines affect each other. Every lack affects the rest. Every new affects the rest. The key is to diminish the lack set up the new and you've started a whole new life process fear is so real in fact there are probably things that you're afraid of doing right now in your life in your relationships at work and the fact that you're afraid that's robbing you of all of the experiences that you want to have in your life I mean if you're afraid to fly that's going to limit your ability to travel and see the world or go visit friends. If you're afraid of public speaking, that's going to really limit your ability to express yourself and share your ideas. If you're afraid of talking to your boss or asking for a raise, that directly impacts how much money you make. Or what if you are dreaming of starting a business or you've already started a new business, but you're afraid to talk to people and you're afraid to share your business with people? I mean, fear is something that stops us all. Fear is real. You can't control the feelings that are gonna rise up in your body when you're on a plane or when you're talking to your boss or when you see somebody that's attractive and you, you really wanna go over and, and talk to that person. But you can always control what you think and you can always make a decision about the actions you're gonna take. Decide what you want and then act as if you already had it. Decide what you want and act as if it was already yours. Now, the reason we can act thinking that it's already ours is because not only can we vision the end results, we can also vision the beginning of making it real. So we don't start till it's finished, but it is possible for human beings to finish something before they start. Human beings are the only life on earth that has this incredible capacity to change the course of your life. No other life form can do that. Every other life form except human seems to operate simply by instinct and the genetic code. Human beings can alter the course of their life. Someone says, don't you have to do the second six years like you did the first six years and jot this down. No. 
No, you don't have to live the second six years like the first six. You can use all the information and all the advice and repairing all of your mistakes and adopting a new and refined philosophy so that the next six years can be totally different than the last six. No other life form can do this. See, if you were a tree, you'd be stuck. As a tree, if you used up all the nourishment that was around you and you couldn't change location, see, you would die. But that's not true. Human beings can change location, go north, south, east, west, live here for a while, live somewhere else for a while. So that's a note to me. You can greatly alter the course of your life. Hire on the basis of competence, using objective tests, and let the cards fall where they're going to. And don't be afraid to tell people that that's what you're doing. Watch your HR department carefully and make sure that they're not pushing diversity, inclusivity, and equity initiatives, that they're not requiring people to take implicit association tests that hypothetically reveal their unconscious bias, that they're not doing seminars on systemic racism and prejudice, and then they're not making the assumption that unequal outcomes, let's say, in terms of hiring in the STEM fields or in terms of employment in the STEM fields, which, by the way, are radically overestimated if you, unless you gerrymander what constitutes the definition of a STEM discipline. You just have to, you have to not participate in any of that. And you have to make it known to your peers, which would be other Silicon Valley founders, I would presume, that you're not doing any of that.